When you think of frontline workers, doctors, nurses, and first responders may come to mind, but there are a whole lot of other people who have not stopped working during the pandemic to keep our community safe. Our Mary Frances Hoots joins us in the studio to share what a local high school did to make sure everyone in hospitals are appreciated. Mary Frances. Well, Greg, cleaning crews have been working day in and day out at the hospitals during the pandemic. And with visitor suspensions and restrictions, these workers are oftentimes the only people patients see every day inside the hospital. Boyd Buchanan students gave them care packages in Erlanger's courtyard this afternoon as a token of appreciation. This is awesome. I mean, you, you couldn't ask for anything more than this to be recognized by. Boyd Buchanan National Honor Society students huddled together to figure out what they wanted to do for their service project. Senior Mackenzie Savage's mother works at Erlanger, so it gave her an idea. She comes home and brags about her housekeepers and her food service people every single day. About two weeks and countless hours of packing and prepping later, they gifted this special group of Erlanger employees with goodie bags. We prepared 150 bags. Um, along with plus um, 300 or so cards, if not more, um, the whole school participated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the staff was so grateful and touched by their thoughtfulness and generosity. Our folks come in and do a hard job. Uh, they're coming in and they're disinfecting and cleaning and making sure that, that nobody's catching anything inside this hospital or leaving with something they didn't come in with. And the students left with full hearts. The best part of all this is just to see them smile and that they know um, that we made them feel appreciated. They know that their hard work does not go unnoticed and what they do makes the biggest uh, difference. This hospital wouldn't run without them. Erlanger's CEO was at the event and was so thankful for the students for their generosity. Greg.